Friday night in Columbia, the South Carolina Gamecocks knocked off a top 10 team for the second consecutive match. Alongside Brian Hand, I'm Brad Muller. Gamecocks winners over 7th ranked New Mexico Friday night by a score of 2-1 to one in overtime. And as we talked about earlier, the Gamecocks had a lot of confidence coming in. They've probably got even more confidence now. A huge amount of confidence now. You know, confidence goes a long way. You know, there was a there was a really dark point in the season. Now there's a very big light point in the season. It was great to see the Gamecocks emerge with the second straight top ten win. Well, the Gamecocks got it going early. Millard helped set up Kevin Walker. Yeah, it was a great goal. Great job by Millard to go down the flank. Puts it in Mill. I mean, puts it into Walker. He puts it in. Gamecocks really on their heels for a lot of the first mm -hmm. half. After that, Lobos had some chances, but. Pyle doing a great job in net for South Carolina. Yeah, did a great job. Has done a great job for the last three games. Great chance for Walker right here, but just off the bar. Again, the Lobos had some opportunities, and in the second half, Gamecocks still leading 1-0. Gamecocks an opportunity. Nico Hansen stoned here by Pyle. That was their best opportunity for quite uh, most of the half. Mm -hmm. And again, on the other end, the keeper for the, uh, the Lobos doing a great job as well. But a PK here uh, by Chris Weehan ties things up mm -hmm. with about four minutes to play. And this is the game winner by Jeffrey Torden. It was a howler given up by the goalkeeper, but if you're the Gamecocks, you'll take it any day of the week. And most importantly, it's a 2-1 Gamecock win. Gamecocks improved to 2-0 in Conference USA play. They knock off a top-10 team for the second straight match for the first time since 2000. For Brian Hand, I'm Brad Mullen.